This is the road that heads down to Popeyes and the Duncan patio. As you can see, taxi drivers here don't worry about stop lines, they just go. Oh, and he's making a turn. <laughs> Uh, usually the only time you see blinkers used here is when they put on their four-way flashers. And that basically means I'm going to do crazy shit, but it's okay because I got my four-ways on. Uh, so we're going to head down to the main drag and around and out the toll gates. Uh, passing by little hospitals. Yay, he's going away. There's a street full of love hotels. It's amazing, this whole area wasn't here two years ago. There's out back there. Haven't been there since the day of the shitty service. Don't know if I'll be going back. Yeah, you've seen lots of footage of this, but not from this vantage point. No, they're tarring. I don't know if that's going to be a ramp for the underground area. Or the ceiling. Or... It's kind of jump over here. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be the ground level. So maybe maybe those lanes are going to permanently be like that and not get covered over. Because it's all supposed to be tunnels to allow them to avoid the big choking thing up there. Yeah. See, so stopped for a light and the four-way flashers are on. And then sometimes, you know, if it's nighttime, they'll turn their headlights off. And not turn them back on. Although, the, the weirdest place I was ever driving at for headlights, um, Youngstown, Ohio. I swear over 50-60% of the drivers had their headlights off at night. Not at twilight, at dark. Not a fun place to drive in. There's my gas station. Uh, yeah, it goes really deep down there. Yeah. I always wonder, how are they going to turn? It's pretty narrow in places, though. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Because of the way this is set up, it was really hard to see the light over there. So this is one of the main thoroughfares in Zhangju. It uh, kind of rings around part of the city. Going backwards, it'll take you all the way up to Yongamdong. And heading this way, it'll take you right out to the airport. Okay, on the Avenue of Trees. I've been on that bus many, many times. I love this avenue. Looks like they're expanding it to an eight-lane avenue but it's just with the trees all leafed up. It is a nice shaded ride. Going through the tunnel. Yeah, it is. Um, not so much here, but I don't know if you can see the lane over there between all the trees is where the original road was. And then the other road was right on the other side. And it is, it's like going through a tunnel of trees. I only hope that they plant trees on this side of the road. Oh, kindergarten's in. It looks like a love hotel, but it's a kindergarten. I guess it's, oh no, that would be a bad joke. I'm not even gonna think. Oh, uh, bad Tim. Um, but yeah, I hope they put trees on this side of the road too, so it has that tunnel effect back. I kind of miss that. It just feels wrong only having trees on the driver's half. One of the same kind of trees on the road outdoors. Ah. Roadside stand. Where are my trees? And now we have the tunnel effect in full effect here. They haven't expanded this part of the road yet. They're working their way here. No, I don't want to stop. Bastards. Bastardo. Oh, now we give you a full effect. Oh, 
Yeah, that's true. See, I don't even there's a church in the middle of nowhere. Plants. Now, when it comes to roadside care, they don't have a DOT that comes along cleaning and stuff usually. You will see hordes of Ajamas, old women, who basically volunteer their time and will come out and clean. Uh, sometimes the city will send people with lawnmowers, but I've actually seen smaller parks where the Ajamas are there with scissors or garden shears trimming the grass. Nice to see the community spirit, but uh, I don't know if I would want to use pruning shears or scissors to cut the grass.